This is a question I see asked all the time. How do we find the equation of the median from a vertex? It's kind of a funny sounding question, um, but let's talk about it. So most often it's phrased like, find the equation, that's just shorthand for equation, of the median. That's a funny word, we're gonna talk about that. Find the equation of the median from vertex, and then they'll give the vertex a name, like vertex A. So find the equation of the median from vertex A. That's usually how these questions are asked. And then what they'll do is they'll give you three points. They'll give you point A, which we'll say is negative three, two. They'll give you point B, which is negative five, negative six. And then they'll give you another point, like point C, which we'll say is five, zero. So this is what you're given and you're expected to come up with an answer. So we have to figure out what in the world they're asking us. If they give you three points, we're able to plot those points, right? So let's just do that just to help us visualize what's happening. So point A is at negative three, two. So, okay, negative three, two, put it right there, that's point A. Point B is at negative five, negative six. Okay, so we go negative five down to negative six. That's point B. And then point C is five, zero. So it's gonna be over here at five, zero. That's point C. And you can connect those dots together, right? Like that, like that, like that. And what we have here is a triangle, right? So what is the median from vertex A? What does that mean? The median from vertex A is a straight line from point A, as you can probably guess, which connects to the midpoint of BC. So if we say the midpoint of BC is right here, I don't know that it's on the y-axis, it could be here, it could be here, I'm not positive. But if we just say, okay, the midpoint of BC is gonna be right there, and you connect a line from A to that midpoint, the equation of that line is going to be what we call the median from vertex A. So what this question is asking for is the equation of that line, y equals mx plus b. That's what they're asking for. So how do we find this? Now we've talked about in the past how you can find the equation of a line if you're given like a point and a slope. Um, but also there's a way to do it where you're given two points, right? Because if you find two points, like we might be able to do here because we have point A already and we can find the midpoint between B and C, then you can use those two points to find the slope and then use that slope and one of the points to figure out your B value and then figure out your equation. So that's gonna be our approach. We're gonna try to find the midpoint because then we'll have two points on this line we can use that to find the slope and then you know, finally figure out the equation of the line. So let's start by figuring out the midpoint. So I wanna find the midpoint of BC. Midpoint of BC, we just average out the X terms and the Y terms, right? We've covered this a few times now. So the X values for BC, you have negative five plus five over two, and you have negative six plus zero over two. Well, negative five plus five is zero, zero over two is zero. Negative six plus zero is negative six, over two is negative three. So the midpoint is at zero, negative three. So it turns out the midpoint actually is on the y-axis for this one, right? It's gonna be down here at negative three, right? Zero, negative three is that point right there. So we were actually pretty good with our drawing, right? It ended up being pretty accurate, it looks like. So it's important to note that this isn't a 90 degree angle necessarily, the way that it was when we did a perpendicular bisector. This is completely different, right? This could be any angle, right? The only thing that matters here is that this line connects from A to the midpoint. That's all that matters, okay? So now we have two points on this new line here, right? This new line has the point A and it has this new point, the midpoint. See how those are both located on our line? So using those two, we can find the slope, right? So we call the slope M. Slope is gonna be Y2 minus Y1. So negative three minus two over x2 minus x1, so zero minus negative three. So what do we get? You get negative five over positive three. So that is the slope of this line, right? See, it's negative, it's going down, seems to make sense. So now we have the slope and we have several points. We can use either point that we want, um, but let's set this up. So y equals mx plus b. I'm gonna plug in my m value that I just figured out it's negative five over three. I'm gonna plug in point A, right? You have the choice to plug in either point A or your midpoint. I'm just gonna plug in point A, keep it simple. Um, so your X value was negative three and your Y value is two. 
right? The point was negative 3, 2. And then plus b, and we can solve for b. So 2 equals uh, negative 5 over 3 times negative 3 is those 3's cancel, the negatives cancel, you're just left with 5 plus b. Move the 5 to the other side, you get 2 minus 5, which is negative 3. b equals negative 3. Therefore, your final answer is y equals negative 5 thirds x minus 3. So this is the equation of the median from vertex A. And they could ask you to find the equation of the median from any point, right? You could find it from B, and that would go from B to, you know, the midpoint of AC. You could find the median from the vertex of C, and that would go from C to the midpoint of AB. So it all depends what they're asking you, right? So that's why we have to read the question carefully to give them the answer they want.